So it's been, we're, it's been a year since the launch of the We Love Logistics campaign. Tell me how that's fared and where you are with that right now. Well, we, uh, as you know, launched September uh, 2010, and we have gotten great uh, feedback both from employees and from our, our customers. Uh, we've done a lot of research to show that the campaign has really broken through. There's uh, increased awareness of, of really this broad uh, portfolio of solutions that UPS can offer customers mm -hmm. through logistics. And so we've, we've really kind of hit the first milestone of, of planting the flag and, and really establishing that UPS provides really uh, important solutions and logistics that, that can give companies a competitive advantage. We are also, though, seeing that the idea is really resonating and creating engagement with customers. We're more than, at this point, more than 8 million visits to our microsite. It really contains a lot of information and proof and demonstration of how UPS has performed, uh, you know, logistics solutions for many companies. So um, I think we're very pleased with where we're starting, where the campaigns, where the campaign has led. Mm -hmm. You know, we also, you know, have our employees engaged, uh, our sales force engaged, and giving them opportunities to really have a different kind of conversation. So we're very pleased with where, where it's where it's gone. And just going back a quick step, what was the original thinking behind why that needed to be the brand message moving forward? Well, I think we wanted a global platform, mm -hmm. and we wanted it to really highlight and be the platform that resonates all the solutions. It's not just picking up and delivering a package from A to B. It's partnering with your customers and providing them solutions and really understanding what are their needs. Where do they need to be in two years? How do they want to source? Where do they want to source from? You know, how do they want to bring it to their end user? How can we be more efficient and, and cost conscious on their behalf? And then how can we bring them sustainability? So you can't do those as separate items. You really need to tie it up in a way that people understand whether it's warehouse distribution, whether we manage that for you or not in, say, healthcare, or whether you just would like to ship packages across the country or across the world to family. It's logistics. So it's almost like simultaneously it was uh, boiling it down to a very simple concept, yet at the same right. time it was broadening it to Absolutely. encompass a whole lot of different We aspects. had so much email and mail about people who said, thank you for finally explaining to my family what I do. And you've made it so simple. And, you know, when you think about it, we're all logisticians in our jobs and in our lives. You know, you, you put the list out of everything you have to do. And, you know, we, we back that up with our technology, which is really the information, the technology to streamline how we do our operations. And it, it truly is a very robust platform and it's difficult to describe it and as Maureen said it's it's written on the faces of our you know, 420,000 employees every day mm -hmm. you know the ones are out there in the brown trucks you know servicing the the customer who they know intimately and understand their business or whether you're the engineer trying to work through a different setup for a customer so that they can be more efficient inside their warehouses. Now, Maureen, you were saying that, and this is one of the themes of this conference, in fact, is this concept of um, marketer as, as publisher, marketer as content creator. What are you doing in that area as far as content goes? Yeah, that's, that's very true. Uh, what we found in a lot of the research we've done is that, you know, customers really want to see the proof and demonstration, and that's really what we're producing content that demonstrates how UPS can provide these kind of logistic solutions to businesses of all sizes. And so what you'll see are, are video case studies, uh, we'll see, uh, customer stories, white papers that really focus on demonstrating our expertise in certain industries like healthcare. Uh, and so we have a, a whole lot of content that's housed in, in multiple places, both and distributed both on a microsite that we've created for the campaign, but also pushed out through social media, as well as through um, content networks like Federated Media and things like that, where we can include our content along with other content already being presented to consumers or customers where, the, where they are at. Now, your primary customers are businesses, and yet you obviously have an interaction with the end consumer. Right. Too. Most companies, if they survive and they thrive long enough, they complete the cycle. Uh, we started as really a, a B2C, 
And, uh, you know, then we went B to B, and today, you know, we are about 35% B to C. The rest is B to B. We deliver to 100 million residential deliveries or to residences every year. Mm -hmm. And if you take a look at what's really been changing is the push and the pull. The consumer wants more say. And, you know, I think that Internet purchasing e-commerce has really radically changed that. So it changes the way you position yourself, as, as Maureen was talking about. People want you to talk to them about ideas, but they want you to sell them solutions and outcomes. And whether you're a consumer, you want that streamlined in your life, or whether you're a, a business person shipping to a consumer, you, you basically want the same. You want solutions and convenience, reliability, and you want scale for cost.